guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell from the thumbnail, I am going to be giving you my top favorite drugstore powders. I absolutely love this video because I know so many people lean to like the Laura Mercier and actually the RCMA no color powder. Yeah, I believe that's what it's called. I do not have it in this video because I have not tried it, but I've heard that one so vamped up. So I wonder if it's really as good as everyone says. I will be purchasing it and I will be letting you guys know exactly what I think about it but I do give you four that you can actually buy at the store. So if you wanna know what four setting powders that I love, just keep on watching. <laughs> First is going to be the NYC Translucent Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. This is by far my favorite drugstore powder, and the best part about it, it's about $3. I kid you not. It is super, super affordable, and it is a little pink tone. It says translucent, but it does have a little skin tone tinge in it of color, I would say. But honestly, you do not see it. It does not give any flashback. This one is by far my favorite for $3. All right, next I am gonna show you one and this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is not technically a setting powder for underneath your eyes I would use, but it is an all over face that I constantly, constantly use. And I have used it underneath my eyes several times and I do not crease. This is more my face tone powder, I would say, not more my setting under eye, but I do set my under eyes with this when I do not want any highlight underneath my eyes. I do set it with this. I set my whole entire face with this. I love it, and it lasts such a long time, and again, I think it's like five bucks, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this one. A lot of you have seen a lot of these that I'm going to be showing you. All right, next is going to be the original formula of Airspun. I did just pick this up, but I instantly fell in love with it. It does have a little powder scent i would say like a baby powder perfumed a little bit i'm sure a lot of you know exactly what this smells like and this is what it looks like i think i purchased it on walmart and i paid about four or five dollars for this and it comes with so much like how much it comes with with the next one i'm going to show you it's unreal and it kind of does the same thing and this is what it looks like it just has little holes in there but this one has a little bit more of skin tone color in the powder but again it does not show up well on me it doesn't show up so it could be a perfect match for my skin so i really can't tell you if it will show up but it does not show up on me none of these powders that i'm showing you dries out my under eyes or my skin i always put like a um mist over like some rose water or setting spray after i put all this stuff and honestly it does not crease and it does not crack up it's just really good and it holds my makeup for a long time and i am amazed at how amazing this is and i've never tried it and it says it's been around since 1935, so I guess it's been around for a long time and people's been using it for a long time. Last is going to be the e.l.f. HD powder. And again, I purchased this one on their e.l.f. website, but I knew they also have it at Walmart. And this is the sheer shade, so I guess there's probably some more that probably gives more coverage or it just, I'm not really sure. I don't know why it's just called sheer. I didn't see any other one, so, but I did pick up this one. It is super tiny. As you can tell, it's like the middle of my hand but it is so good. It's supposed to compare it to the other HD powders out there, which I haven't tried the high-end ones. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to compare it to, but I do know it is really good and really affordable. I love all four of these setting powders. I truly do. I use them in a rotation. I did just pick up the Airspun a couple weeks ago, but I've instantly fell in love with it. I was watching Steph Beauty, and she always talks about the Airspun, so I really wanted to try it out, and I love it. It is so good. And I'm just really impressed about all this in the drugstore. I do have some higher end setting powders, but honestly, I love my drugstore powders because I have no shame with them. When you go in with like higher end setting powders, you are so careful while I am and how much I put. Like I usually don't set my whole face with like high end setting powders. It's always with more drugstore because they're really costly. And if you keep setting your whole entire face, that powder is not gonna last too long. So that's why I usually use my Rimmel Stay Matte for my whole face. I do use it for my under eyes, like I said, but normally, I use high under end under my eyes or my uh, drugstore, but my entire face, it's always my drugstore because it goes so quick because I'm always putting that on my face. I just want to let you guys know those are my favorite four setting powders. So if you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on all my social media at StacyLeanne1, and I see you in my next video. Bye.